So Casey, if you would like to come up, take two minutes to introduce yourself. And uh, at, during that introduction, um, request that you highlight uh, your motivation for running for the office. No, it's wobbling a little bit. Well, thank you very much for coming. It's a pleasure to be here in this farming community. Is it? Does everybody hear me? Okay. Um, I don't know what to make out of it. You know, it became a little bit of a commotion at the very beginning. But uh, the truth of the matter is that um, we should be better organized. Nonetheless. I want to tell you, because my frustration is I have two minutes to speak about problems that were created for 40 years, but I'll try my best. And I don't know how to dance with words or make pirouettes with words, but I'll try my best. My name is Casey Klebeck, and I am running for the United States Senator. I am an immigrant born in the oppressive communist of Poland. I have a passion to preserve and protect our democracy for this and future generations. I would like to share a message that America is still a beacon of hope and freedom. The world still knows that America is known for its distinct sense, distinct sense of opportunity where hard work can pull through just about any dream and success. I would like to tell Americans that this dream is still achievable and it can be achieved. I would like to empower Americans with the opportunities for success. Here in America, I was able to raise my family and forge my business. Now I reached a moment in my life where I can return, in return for my successes, I would like to serve as the, this country as a senator. At this time, I would like to warn also America especially today, that our freedoms and liberties are under assault by our own government, our values, our religion, our families, and our way of life is in danger, and we must stop it right now. But you may ask, what do I do for you? Or what is my mission and vision for Illinois? And here's what I'd like to do for Illinois. First of all, I would like to create for all people of Illinois the best jobs possible. Ten more seconds. To that extent, I'd like to designate special economic zones for advanced technologies, stop a massive exodus from Illinois, and bring back jobs from overseas from the last 40 years. That's 8 million jobs and 50,000 factories. Reduce the corporate and the bureau taxes. Thank you, Casey. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Next will be Peggy Hubbard. I'm, we're going to give her at least the two-minute introduction, and if she changes her mind, she'll be with us for the rest. Hello, everyone. I'm Peggy Hubbard, candidate for U.S. Senate. I'm from St. Clair County, which is downstate, southern Illinois, 37 miles across the river from St. Louis. I'm a former police officer. I am a Navy veteran. I worked for the IRS 17 years. Don't hold it against me. I'm the mother of six, grandmother of 22. I've been married to my husband, Charlie, who's a Ferguson police officer for 32 years. We just celebrated our 32nd wedding anniversary. Uh, forgive me for hauling in here late, but I was in Iowa. I've been on the highway driving since 4 o'clock this morning, and I'm going back to the Quad City. Folks, I've been on the road ever since Memorial Day. I have covered, as of today, 104, 104, 502 miles. I have covered this whole entire state as a candidate. I have traveled from Chicago to Quincy, down to Cairo, over to Marshall and back. I'm going back out again as soon as I leave here. I am sorry and I do apologize because I was informed that this was gonna be a candidate forum for candidates. I am going to fight for you. I'm out here on the road for you. I've been away from my family, my husband rather, since Memorial Day. I have not been home. I will not see him until Monday. That's the commitment I have for the people of Illinois. I'm grassroots. I don't have a lot of money, but what I do have is a lot of heart and a lot of fight. I just received my last poll, national poll. And believe it or not, for someone who's only raised $27,000, who's covered 104,000 miles, 
I am happy to say that I am number one in the polls. So that puts me in a great position to continue to fight for you. And I will fight for you. I will fight to close the borders. I will fight to make sure our police officers come home. I back the blue. I will fight for our veterans. This past weekend, I was on a farm driving a tractor, and it was great. So forgive me for not taking part in this forum because I was informed something different. But that does not diminish my commitment, my love for the people of Illinois. And I'm going to take a breather for a little bit, and I'm going to jump back on the highway. I got to go back to Quincy and to the Quad City to get ready for another event. So please keep me in your prayers. Please keep my family in your prayers. I have a lot of experience working for the federal government. I know what it's like to work hard. That's what I do. That's all I know is working hard. Nothing has been given to me, and I do not have any endorsements. But guess what? There was a man who stood up and they turned their backs on him. All the Republican parties across the country did. He had not one endorsement, and he became the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you. It's all right. And for, for candidate Hubbard, we did set this up as a forum. The same questions will be asked, and you'll be talking to the audience. Um, rather than a debate structure. So if you choose to stay or come back, we'll welcome you back. Um, next up will be Stephanie Hitt on behalf of Kathy Salvi. She's her chief of staff. Remind you that uh, you'll be talking to the audience on behalf of Kathy and I couch it that way. Okay. Oh, sorry, not quite as tall. Hello, my name is Stephanie Hitt, and as you've heard, I'm Kathy Salvi's Chief of Staff or Campaign Manager. Kathy, again, thanks all of you for welcoming me here today so that I could speak on her behalf. As you've heard, she is uh, hosting the wedding today for her son, one of her six children. Um, one of the reasons is that Ka one of the reasons Kathy is running is because she didn't plan on running. I think none of us knew how bad things were going to get coming out of Washington. Like many of us, Kathy was living her life, struggling with all the same issues that we have, the high prices, the gasoline, watching the disasters in Afghanistan and now sort of hedging around Ukraine. And she said, I, I, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of sitting on the sidelines. Enough is enough. We need to start fighting back in, wa in Washington, D.C. So unfortunately, her son was not going to change his wedding for her Senate campaign. However, Kathy has been a lifelong Republican in the state of Illinois. She was born and raised here. She raised her family here. For the last 25 years, she, along with her husband, have built essentially the conservative brand here in Illinois, in Illinois uh, politics. Kathy herself ran for office back in 2006. Her husband has run multiple campaigns as well. And finally, after the 25 years of hard work, building the strong conservative principles that define her and now the Republican Party. The Republican Party is finally realizing that you need a pro-life, pro-family, strong candidate to take on Tammy Duckworth. Some of you may have heard that uh, Kathy uh, just received, she's received almost every single endorsement from every township endorsing. She just received the Daily Herald endorsement. And the reason why is because Kathy is singularly the only candidate that has the solid, true vetted conservative chops to carry the conservative principles to Washington, D.C., but also the skills as an advocate, as a lawyer, as a former public defender to fight and persuade and to win for all of her clients and now all of her constituents. So for that reason, Kathy said, we need a solid, tested voice in Washington, D.C., who not only speaks for Illinois, but who knows all of Illinois, and she has traveled this state from the top to the bottom for the last 25 years. Thank but, you, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Candidate DeBeal, if you would like your two-minute introduction. 
And reminder, if you can, a little of your motivation for running in this answer. Yes, I grew up, I grew up in Illinois. One of my best memories is driving down I-55 with my dad to go fishing in Braidwood. Today, I'm a dad, and I uh, work in radio. That's our family business. There's one thing that changes when you grow up and you have kids. That's priorities. The country we grew up in was patriotic. The playbook for the American dream was clear. Go to school, get good grades, meet somebody, raise a family, buy a house. But it hasn't quite worked out that way. Today, criminals are the ones rewarded instead of achievers. Our college graduates are working as baristas while our trades can't find enough qualified workers. Our children are taught critical race theory in early alt sex ed while being told two plus two equals five. Our government is printing and spending money, resulting in massive inflation. And the internet, which was supposed to liberate people with information, is instead being used to track and silence Americans. The truth is, America has the wrong priorities. It's time to get America back on track again. Because we're up against a media that lies to us, schools that teach our kids to hate themselves and our country, and corporations that have gotten so wealthy and powerful, they think they're in charge. It's time to put America first. Protect our children, support parents, restore law, order, and common sense, and secure our border once and for all. And instead of pretending we can somehow fix the rest of the world's problems, we got to get back to our Constitution and we the people. As your United States Senator, I will represent we the people in Washington, D.C., and back here at home. You can find out more about me at dubielforsenate.com. Thank you so much for your patience and your willingness to sit here. And I have no issue with candidates not making events. Candidates can't make all the events. I only have an issue with a candidate forum with candidates only in the forum. We can't identify as a candidate. In order to be one, you have to be one. And Casey's a candidate, Peggy's a candidate, and Matt Dubiel is a candidate. There's a few other candidates that couldn't make it today. And you should research them all. Find out everything you can about all seven candidates that are running for United States Senate. All the other forums we've been at, I put the videos in their entirety at dubielforsenate.com, and I welcome you to watch everything everyone has to say, because then you can make an informed decision. You don't need the McHenry GOP or the Illinois GOP or anybody else to tell you who to vote for. We the people have the power, and you the people have the brains to make the right decisions, and you know when you're being fed something that isn't right. So it's time for us to stand up on that, trust ourselves and trust our instincts, and take America back. That's what I stand for. My name is Matt Dubiel. Thank you so much for your attention and your time today. Thank you, Matt.